Good morning, class. Today, I'll be talking about how the ancient Egyptians depict the human soul. They believe that there are five parts to the human soul. The Ba, the Ka, the Ib, the Ren, and the Shoot. For today's presentation, I will share with you uh, what function each part serves. The, the Ib, the Ib represents the human heart, which would be weighed against the feather of truth upon judgment as the deceased makes their way to the afterlife. The, 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 the Ren represents the person's name, which is extremely powerful and this part of the soul would live on as long as this name is being spoken. There is also the Ka, uh, also known as the life force. It adopts a neutral stance and is solely responsible for keeping the individual alive. Now comes the two most important parts of the soul that are always in tension, the shadow and the back. The shadow, also known as the shoot, represents the weaker, darker side of our soul. It follows its owner wherever they go, and it can only take whatever shape the owner positions himself to be, with no say of whatsoever. The ba, however, is the strongest side of our soul that gives us individuality and makes us unique. It embodies what we perceive to be ideal for ourselves, and it likes to take control over all the other parts of the human soul. In, in conclusion, our very existence is essentially characterized by the interactions and conflicts between these five parts, which explains why we have a very complex relationship with our inner psyche. Thank you. Alright class, thank you all for the participation. I'll be returning your media exam papers. In register number order. Hey, how much you get? Huh? I got 96 la. Wow, but damn bad, yeah. I lost those 4 marks just because I careless. Hey, shut up la. So high already, still complain. But I still sad ma. Hey, anyway, how much you get? Huh? I got 94. But seriously, don't know how I get it one la. <laughs> like, anyhow study only la. I think the teacher mark quite lenient this time la. Yeah, right. I also got that feeling. Zheng Hong ah, Zheng Hong, run faster leh. All the girls catching up with you already leh.
go lower less so weak if you cannot just put your knees down and do like girl like that can you just put in more effort pretend you're gonna kiss your girlfriend as you go up I never wanted this. This familiar nauseous punch in my stomach wobbled my knees and blurred my vision. Flashbacks of this heart sinking sensation hit like a million bullets straight to my soul. A delicately hand sewn web of intricacy that collapsed as the heavy raindrops fell like asteroids. It is yet another episode of my mental breakdown, spiraling down into the deep abyss with nothing but my tunnel vision. 
In this moment of darkness, there's no way out, even if I continue looking straight. Gradually, the turbulent waters subside and the rays of logic slowly seep back to my bloodstream. I found a nearby staircase to bring myself to higher ground. It is said that standing on the shoulders of giants will allow us to observe the world better. Yet all I have is this double vision supervision, grappling with the leash attached to my untamed hound. One method I've heard that helps put ourselves together in times of distress is to verbalize our thoughts and rationalize our emotions. But it seems like I'm only able to mask my feelings behind thick layers of metaphors and analogies. This burst of do not show your emotions still haunts me even in the deepest of nights and the loneliest of showers. The only response to are you okay shall always be I'm fine. I never wanted this. The second wave of nausea gushed in and flooded my intestines with the bitter mixture overspilling from the ever-churning cauldron of my stomach. It has never felt this bad. Okay, maybe my friends really are busy today. Perhaps I didn't ask them out sincerely enough. What if I chose to push this meeting back to the holidays or find somewhere more convenient for everyone? Would they still show up in this case? Or maybe they just hate me. They don't think I fit in with them. They probably just went to meet us together somewhere without me. I'm too arrogant and stuck up. I am too stupid to understand their jokes. I am too self-centered and only care about what I like. I can't understand them. I can't make them laugh. I can't... I am the most useless piece of shit ever. Do they hate me? Am I not good enough? Why do they hate me? Is it because I'm too bossy? Because I'm not good at sports? Because I don't have good grades? Will anyone ever like me? How do I get them to like me? What exactly are they thinking about me? No, no, no! You cannot think this way! It's just all in our head la! Can't be that bad! You should cheer up! You should just get over it! Because tomorrow will always be a better day! Life is beautiful! And everything happens for a reason! It could be worse, you know! So just be grateful for what we have!在生活中，我们不能让每一个人喜欢我们，所以我们不用太在意别人说的坏话，因为我们生命中最重要的人应该是自己和爱我们的人。这世界上也只有你最清楚你的为人，你的人生也是属于你自己的，不要为别人而活
So what do you expect? A 180 change from this insignificant individual to an invincible superhero? We all crave resolution, a happily ever after ending after a series of eventful happenings. Well, life goes on as usual for me. The battle between the bar and the shadow is always an ongoing one. Perhaps the ultimate goal in life isn't about attaining absolute happiness and perfection, but to take baby steps out of an eternal hailstorm no matter how long it takes.